Hey guys, in today's tutorial I'll show you how to create a gallery view in Notion along with how you can add images to improve the visuals of your gallery. So instead of reading rows and rows of data like here, uh, the gallery view is a great way to display databases with a visual component. For example, you can show the covers of books that you've read, pictures of recipes that you've followed and cooked, title images of movies that you've watched and much more. I'm Marsha from Excelme where we help you increase your productivity with Notion. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button and for more Notion tutorials, check out the blog below. The link is in the description box. So let's jump to it. So to create a gallery view, uh, click on the block itself and the command is slash gallery. This will create a gallery database view. So you can choose something uh, from an existing data source if you already have one. Alternatively, create a new database. So in this example, let's go through a new database. This creates a pre-populated uh, three card or three page database. So to edit and add images to each of these entries, click on one of the pages. Um, for argument's sake, let's go take a new cover. So if you click on add cover, click on change cover. And from here you have a couple of options. You can choose the default Notion ones in the gallery where you can choose one of these. You can upload your own, um, paste an image from somewhere on the internet where you can just link it. And Notion actually includes a repository of images from Unsplash. So again, um, if you wanted to choose something from here. So let's, for argument's sake, type in fitness. And from here, you can just select one of the images. So this, this now then becomes uh, the page cover, but also you can use it as one of the gallery view images as well. So let me show you how to do that. So to edit a gallery view or the images here, click on the three ellipses or the edit view layouts click on layout itself if you get a card preview so here you can see it's been set to page content so this will just show whatever's in the first few lines of a new page so if you have an image you'll take that if you've got say for example page one's got a couple of check boxes it'll show that but let's change it to something where we have edited the page cover so if you click on it so you can choose to not have any images. If not, you can use page cover. Um, card size, so again, small, medium, large, that's pretty self-explanatory. And fit image, this just um, changes the aspect ratio just a little bit smaller and includes the entire image. So again, this is personal preference. And the last option here is just in terms of how you open a page once you click it. So default, in Notion is just as a center peak, you can change it to side or full page. So let's for now leave it as center peak. So I just wanted to touch on the power of the gallery view. So using an example that I created earlier, here's just a few topics of interest that I've got. And on a dashboard itself, you don't really want to show a table like this with rows and rows of data. So that's where you can create a nice looking gallery and then put in page covers that are relevant to that topic so when you're navigating through a notion page itself um, it just makes things look a lot nicer and a lot better if you enjoyed this video hit the like button for more notion and excel tips check out excel me link is in the description box below thanks for watching and i'll see you guys again soon